out single-handed happened to be Christmas Day on 20, 2013 I think it was that uh, I was on the river in the morning woke up Christmas morning and uh, it was about 12 knots of breeze and I had a bit of grub on board and thought why not so I grew up in the countryside and everyone grows your fruit and veg and my grand's grand used to go down my grand's house when I was a kid. Uh, her, her, her house was like a neighbours you just you know, it was in the hedgerow just on top of the edge she'd grow all her fruit and veg and so I always had an interest in using like the hedgerow and things like that for like growing your beans and your peas. And I know that I need like that, really. oatmeal yeah. uh, during sailing because I cannot have just, you know, sandwiches all the time or uh, you know, like cold meal. I need something like hot and liquids and so usually I made a soup and put this in a yeah, food flask and then during sailing you can have uh, this hot meal uh, whenever you want it whenever you need it Who cooks in this boat? Both of us <laughs> Dad was a, a pannier market trader and I was brought up as a baby in a baking tray underneath and as I've grown up and grown up there I used to deliver the fruit and veg to from Alan Burt's fruit and veg to all the restaurants in town. So I used to have a little trolley. And I remember even Wimpy. We used to deliver the tomatoes and lettuces to Wimpy. Oh, I, so got into it. I was hungry. Mm -hmm. But nothing was in packaging then. It was yeah, all well, brown bags. Um, and and I when you picked up that apple, I used to go to the supermarket. You picked up that tomato, you felt that. And you are right, you know, you um, I've always been this way inclined. Um, for me, um, the way forward is we should all have a little vegetable crop. We should all be growing our own little vegetables. We shouldn't be going to the supermarkets and lining their pockets with big profits. Yeah, I'll make hedgerow jam, hedgerow chutney. I do loads of hedgerow stuff, like, you know what I mean? I'm always picking out the hedgerows. Um, so yeah, elderflower, but that's not what I grow. I mean, there's elderflower just down there, and I'll be making elderflower cordial. And I'll just work the wood in the minutes, hedgerows, really. You know, that's what I do for money. I don't, you know, so I'm always growing something or nurturing something. Um, never got much money, like you know what I mean. I just do it for like next to nothing, really. But don't bother me, like it's just just way of life, isn't it? You know what I mean? This sense of achievement when I got back onto the mooring was, was undescribable. I you know, like managed to pick the mooring back up and grab myself a can of beer out of the cabin and sat back out on the deck, and I felt quite chuffed with myself that I. I think it's I had then time to realise that I'd taken nine tons of steel, cut and shaped and glued it all together, and that was the first proper single handed sail out. Uh, so that's on, um, on a special we, day, I suppose. Uh, keep ourselves like our spirit during sailing. And um, uh, last time we, mm, we went uh, to Channel Islands, and that's we kind of made a new thing that uh, we prep um, some ingredients before sailing. It's made with um, lentils. Uh, and um, we had uh, quite hot. With, uh, with hot. Yeah. Uh, quite nice. Tomatoes and uh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Swirly bread. Because maybe because we sail 24 hours. Sure. Most. 
amazing food that I had. Uh, not making a coffin, you're off, is it? No, I'm not making a coffin. I'm not making a coffin. Oh, concoctions. I suppose one of my mother's favourite dishes is the bread and homemade Oh, concoctions. That was something I'll always remember. Concoctions of all sorts. Something else. Concoctions of all sorts. You know, maybe I was meant to be doing this. Maybe I was meant to be helping people and getting the food out and distributing it properly. Maybe help change the way people look at food. 